I guess I'll start high on the side. This is a leaf from WDVM. Uh, obviously, big game on Saturday, the spring game. For you, how exciting is it to be able to finally play in that kind of energy with fans in, in the stands and, and have that kind of energy around? Um, for me, uh, it means the world. Uh, I have my folks coming out, uh, all of my brothers and my parents. And uh, this is actually my first spring game that I was able to be involved in. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited. Um, and so is the rest of the team. Hi, um, I was just going to ask you a question about Coach Brian Williams. Um, he's obviously been such a great recruiter for Maryland. And I was just curious, as, as a player, what? why do you think that is? Like, what is it about the way he connects with players that – that um, make him that way? Um, Brian Williams is, I'll just say this, he's he's probably the best, if not the best D-line coach in the country. Um, he just has a way about himself, keep everything professional. And he has a way to um, keep things in pers perspective for you. Um, and I just enjoy being a student of the game for him. He's awesome. What, what way has he helped you the most? Um, you know, coming from JUCO, uh, I can guess you. I guess you could say, uh, me and the other JUCO boys, we we like to do things our own way, and um, Brian Williams really had to just put me in line, um, and he has a standard. And if you don't perform to that standard, then he doesn't care who you are. Uh, it's next man up, and uh, aside from that, he's just a great guy. Um, he'll check up on you, you know, uh, at random times. And, uh, yeah, that's all I could really say about him. He makes the game fun. Hi, this is uh, Daniel Iafusi from the Baltimore Sun. I, I want to ask about the other Brian, Brian Stewart, your um, defensive coordinator. Um, just what has he brought to, to you guys as a coach and as a um, teacher? And um, what do you think is the next step for uh, this defense under under him? Um. Coach Stu, uh, he brings excitement to the game. Uh, from day one, I knew he was uh, he was one of them coaches who just brings the energy every day and he expects the same in return. Uh, so I really just enjoy him uh, coaching coaching for us. But at the same time, I haven't gotten uh, I haven't got to know him for too long. Uh, one thing I will say is that he's already familiar with uh, us Polynesian boys. Um, so first day of practice, he walks up to me and he says, are you Polynesian? And I'm like, yeah, I am. He's like, man, I grew up uh, with a lot of y'all back in the day. Um, so, you know, it's just, it's cool uh, having a coach that's familiar with, I guess you could say our kind uh, on the East Coast because we're more of like a West Coast thing. And just a quick follow up. I know, I know. Obviously, um, you know, he's, he's new or not necessarily new, but coming back to the to the program. Um, and you said you, you know, you're still getting to know him. I mean, how how normal has has things been for you? And I guess the team over the past couple of weeks and months. Um, you know, obviously, um, you know, the COVID situation is a little better than it was this time last year. And I mean, you're hoping that you know over the next couple of months and during your season, things don't really um things aren't really upended like they were last year. Just how normal are things right now? Um, for now, I could. I guess you could say we're all we've all adapted to co to the COVID situation, and uh, about half of our team's already vaccinated. So um, everything is going pretty normal for us. Where you know um, we just learned to adapt to everything, all the new rules and and whatnot. And um, and it's all for football. You know, if we get a chance to play football, then then uh, it is what it is. You know. Hey, Mo, um, you know, obviously there's the the defensive line has a lot of really young sort of prospects that are coming in. Um, you know, what have you seen from some of the early enrollees and, you know, how are you sort of stepping up to lead them uh, as they as they sort of grow into a role that they, you know, a, a, a bigger role than they may have, you know, normally would have normally been expecting as freshmen? Um, well, we haven't had any new enrollees uh so far um we're hoping to meet them soon um but from the freshmen that we played with last year i could say that they've improved uh, tremendously um you know riyadh is one guy who i can say has in, improved a lot and uh 
he'll be seeing the field this year for sure. Um, and I think that's just a way about, uh, you know, the ones we rub off on the rest of them, Sam O, um, even Ami Finau. Um, you know, we just play to a standard that makes everyone else want to play to that standard. And uh, yeah, it's enjoyable just watching them improve and get better every day. Hey Mo, this is Sean Stepner uh, from WMAR, the ABC affiliate in Baltimore. Um, I guess just kind of in a broader sense, the spring game, you mentioned the excitement and getting back on the field and the competition. What, what's the coach's message? What's the upperclassmen's message to the rest of the team uh, for this spring game? Uh, what you guys want to get accomplished and, and how much fun you want to, you know, I guess, assuming have out there. What's the message? Um, <clears throat> I guess we'll just want to finish out this spring ball on a good note. Uh, we've had a strong three weeks and, uh, it's definitely been a strain, uh, but our coaches just want us, want us to go out on a good note, uh, offense and defense, um, you know, go out there, have fun. And, uh, that's about it. What is the competition like? Uh, what do you expect it to be like? I mean, anytime that you're keeping points in any, in any circumstance, there's competition. What do you expect it to be like? Uh, I expect to be, you know, I expect it to be nothing less than uh, head banging. And uh, that's just, that's just the competitive spirit that we got to bring to the game, especially as linemen. Uh, we're not going to hold anything back, even though we're all teammates. Um, we know, we know what it is and, we know what to bring to the game in order to get our job done. So, yeah, it's all love in the locker room, but not on that field. Uh, to follow up on what Sean asked, Alif again, hi. Um, Coach Locke said on Tuesday this game, winners get stakes, losers get weenies. Does that amp up the competition a little bit? Uh, yeah, I, I guess you could say that. Um, we're at the D Division One level already, so we're not too – worried about where our meals are coming from. We just we just want to go out there and ball, ball with our brothers. So, yeah. Hi, Mo. This is David Barnes from CTV News. And um, what, what can you say about, we got Jalen Duncan coming up next. I mean, what can you say about him and the other guys on the offensive line, what you've been able to do in practice against them? Because you're going to be seeing them in the, in the game on Saturday. Um. I can also honestly say Big J is uh, one of our best, if not our best alignment. Uh, you know, he's, he's big and one of the best athletes on the field. So every day we get to um, compete against each other. If I don't bring my all, then, you know, I might end up with my face mask in the ground. So we just got to make sure we bring our A game every day. And, you know, it's just iron sharpens iron. So we don't take that personally. 